Good morning. I've got a neat little trick to show you today. Thanks to my good friend Becky Collis who uh, called me one day and she said, Kelly, look what you can do with the end of your ruler. And I knew there was a reason why I made it round. For me, it was so that it wouldn't get caught up in seams when I'm twisting and turning because this round makes it really nice to not get caught in your seams. So I've got this nice little palm ruler. Uh, you can order it at my website, kellykleinquilting.com. Um, I have this other one that is nice for ditch stitching. You can get one for 20 and two for 30, free shipping in the US. Um, so let me show you what this does. So I'm sorry it's white on white. I know that makes it a little bit more difficult. But I use this to ditch stitch and then I also am using it for a clamshell. Um, I also have stitch lines, quarter inch stitch lines, and then I have one inch marks. So I'm gonna uh, use these marks for reference guides. So I'm going to just put it uh, right on my line, my seam line, and I do have a ruler base on. You have to have a ruler base when you use these rulers. I'm also adding a little curl just for some interest inside this clamshell. Come back there, and now I'm going to just do my next clamshell. Do my curl. Do my next one. Whoops. <laughs> Thought I was ditch stitching for a minute. Do my curl. Now while I still have this, I can come back and just do my dip stitch. There you go. That's all it takes. A nice little ruler. Uh, it's five inches by two inches. Thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.